Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Andrew and Nicole. Now in my previous video, I, I showed you and I, I, I unboxed and gave an overview of my new laptop, the Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro. Now one of the, I, again, I would say that the, this notebook is really very great, and very nice, and it's really beautiful. However, there's one problem that uh, we, are, we, are, we are encountering, which is the built-in SSD Samsung P PM961 is not running at its maximum speed. Now, according to the websites that I've been browsing, it has a problem with the firmware. Now there is a fix. So this, this video will tell you how to do it. I'll try to guide you step by step on how what to do before, during and after the the fix. Now how would you know if your firmware is running the the old one that needs to be updated or not? Okay? The first thing you have to do is to check your firmware. Okay? The best way, or I think one of the ways to do is to download this one, the Bellark Advisor. You can go to the Bellark Systems website and it's to download it for free. The Bellark, Bellark Advisor is actually a very comprehensive program where it scans your computer and looks at your hardware, your software, your updates, and see what is missing. Now, for the purpose of this video, I would like to show you this one. This is the bias name of our Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro. Notice the last three digits is 200. Now, if, you're, if your firmware is 200, definitely you need to update to maximize the speed of your SSD. If you're not sure whether you're running the 200 or not, you can do a, you can download this one, the Crystal Disk Mark. You can download this software and run a simple test to check if your SSD is running at what speed. I've already done the speed test a while ago. As you can see in my read, it's 1,845 megabytes per second. Now, for the PM961 or the SSD that, that is built in in this laptop, it should be able to run faster than 1,845. Now, in this video, I will show you how to do an up update of the firmware. It's going to be a bit tricky. There's a bit of uh, experimentation. At the same time, this is my first time to do it in this brand new laptop. And hopefully, we'll be able to do it together and be able to fix the laptop. Now, if your firmware is more than the 200, let's say 300, 400, or 400, or 500 firmware, going back to this one again, if the last three digits is already 400 or 500 for the newer models that you bought recently, then you don't have to do this. Everything is, should be okay. And you should be able to run the crystal disk mark test. And the read speed should be able to go 3,000. These. So that's a considerable speed bump, in my opinion. So too bad the first generation, the first release, the firmware is not up to date, so we try to update. Now, some of the checklists that we have to go through. Now, ensure that your laptop is at least 80% battery or more, and ensure that it's plugged in. Okay. Be, bad, be better safe than sorry. So again, I mentioned you check your firmware version. If it's 200, you need to be updated. 300 and up, you don't need to update. The link, I'll post it in the video description down below for the, all the apps and files that we need to download. Okay, so check with your crystal disk mark. Get an empty USB thumb drive. We'll be using it to create a bootable USB. And go to this website, this one, Tech Tablets. Now, tech that this instruction, by the way, came from Tech Tablets, which came from another Xiaomi Mi Notebook Pro user who posted in the Chinese Xiaomi forum. So all rights belong to them. I'm just trying to do a video and trying to show you guys how to do it because so far I haven't seen any videos pertaining to this one. So again, the full blog, written blogs are all in Tech Tablets, so you can check all everything there. And we go through there one by one. Okay, so let's go to the website. All you have to do first is to download some software. Okay, so you go to this website, 
the Tech Tablets website. I'll post all the descriptions down below. And you can download this one, the Mi Notebook Pro BIOS Update SSD Speed Fix. Notice that version number 300, that is the one that we want to get, the 300. Now, if, you, if you're also interested, you can also download the other drivers, but for this video, we don't, we don't need, we need that. So download this one, and you can also, and also download this one, the Rufus. Oh, anyway, the Rufus, I forgot, I closed up my, my I don't have a Wi-Fi connection right now, but the Rufus Utility, just search Rufus USB Utility, you'll be able to download this file, 2.18. Now what does this do? Rufus 2.18 is a program to be able you to create a USB bootable drive. So get your USB drive, run it, you'll be able to see your drive here. Make sure, I'll, I'll try to insert a USB to, to show you. Okay. So you, you heard the USB. Make sure to format it using the GPT partition for UEFI and uncheck this one, okay? Because if you check this one, there's not, not much really, there's no ISO image file for you to use anyway. So uncheck that one and click start, okay? And remember the file that we download from Tech Tablets? This is the file, uh, Me Notebook Pro BIOS Update, okay? You extract that, okay, and drag everything, copy, copy, and go to your thumb drive and copy and paste everything, everything here, paste everything there, okay? So that is just the first preparations of the, of the updating, okay? In my, in the next part, we'll be going to the BIOS. I'll show you how to enter the BIOS screen and boot from the USB thumb drives. And most of the time, most of the work needs to be done in the BIOS screen. Again, you can follow the full written blog from Tech Tablets and its original contributor, Manger, regarding this on the link here. I'll put everything will be in the video description down below. Okay, so stay tuned for the next clip for the BIOS screen and we'll be able to uh, do it together hopefully so if you like this video please thumbs up subscribe and stay tuned for part two of this video bye bye